All right, boys and girls. So last week we practiced doing some figure drawing. So we practiced drawing some figures that have all the body parts put together. And we practiced building the shapes together with shapes to build two different poses of a figure. So we're gonna practice today taking what we learned last week and actually creating an art project out of our figure drawing knowledge. So we're gonna look at an artist, his name is Keith Herring. And what he loves to do is show these really simple figures that are in different poses and they're usually just one solid color and he usually uses very bright colors for the figure in the background and he likes to show them in different poses like they're moving he even adds these little tiny movement lines around each figure to show that they're moving back and forth so what you're going to start with is this idea sheet right here this is going to help you see different figures in different poses that look like they're moving in different ways each of these figures front and back have all the body parts we learned about last week. The red rectangle for the body, the blue circle for the head, the two parts for each leg and arm, and the hands and feet. So when you're drawing your figures today, I want you to make sure you have all of these body parts and you have four different poses of your figure. So what you're gonna start with is your white paper and you're just going to do, kind of put a line down the middle and a line down the center to cut this into four boxes. And you're gonna draw four figures. So I want you to make sure that you have all the body parts we learned about. Don't forget too that the arms and legs should have two parts. They each are two rectangles put together. So are the legs, so that they look like they're bending. The arms and the feet are more square-like. The body is a rectangle and the head is a circle. If you want to add some details to their face or their shirt, that's fine. But we are probably mostly gonna just color these one solid color. Okay, so if you're gonna add some details, you can add them with little tiny lines here. Okay, once I've drawn my figures, I'm gonna make sure that I go over them with a black Sharpie marker so that they stand out nice and bright. So if I drew with a pencil first, I'll have to outline these with black marker. Okay, so when I'm outlining my figures, it'll look something like this. Start to go over each of those pencil lines nice and dark so they stand out for each figure, okay? So once I've drawn four figures and I've outlined them nice and dark with my Sharpie marker, I'm going to choose some oil pastel colors from the bins to color each figure. So remember, each figure is just gonna be one solid color. So I'm gonna try my best to get each figure just one solid color. And I'm gonna try and make each of my figures a different color so that the background can also stand out against the figure. Nice bright colors like our artist Keith Herring. So I'm gonna try my best here to keep my coloring nice and neat inside of my shapes, not outside my shapes. I'm gonna take my time and go slow, get all the white spaces covered. Okay, so once I've colored all four of my figures, let's just pretend I chose a different color for each figure. It's going to look something sort of like this. Each figure is a different color. Then we're gonna paint the background with watercolor paint. So if this figure is done and I've finished painting all my other figures, at my table, I'm gonna get my watercolor paint and my water cup, and I'm going to choose a color for the background that is opposite. So blue is a very dark color, so I don't wanna pick purple, black, or blue for the background. I'm gonna pick one of these brighter colors, like red, orange, or yellow. So I dip my paint brush in the water, get a little bit of water on my watercolor palette here, mix it up, mix it up, so I've got some paint on my brush, and then I'm just going to paint the background around the figure. So see how nice that blue stands out against that bright orange background? If I would have painted the background blue, this figure would not have stood out against the background very well. He would have blended into the background. So I wanna make sure I pick opposite colors, light and dark colors against each other. Okay, so I've got that figure all the way done. I'm gonna do the same thing for all four figures. Don't forget your little movement lines as well. 